Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or afternoon, whichever location you are watching from. Thank you for tuning into my channel. My name is Peter. I just realized today is on the 30, 31st, and the days are moving so fast. So October, today is the last day. And for those uh, uh, people who have been uh, applying for the DV lottery, actually the days are numbered. I was looking at my calendar today, and we only have seven days uh, left before uh, the time expires, which was allocated, uh, which is why I'm trying to do this video to remind those ones who have not gotten a chance to uh, go online and uh, apply. Uh, we don't have uh, much time left. I know there's a tendency for people uh, waiting until the last minute to try to apply, but uh, the time is now. So by next week, and as you had seen my earlier video, actually the United uh, the Department of State um, they postponed or they extended at the window for the DV lottery from uh, the 5th, November 5th, to uh, November the 7th, which actually said is a good thing for us because we have more time to wrap up wherever we started. So uh, this is, that's why I'm making this video today. Uh, to remind you that uh, there's no time again to wait. I don't think they are going to extend again, not unless uh, something very, very, very unusual happens. But um, the time we have, let us take an advantage of that and try to finish up uh, wherever we have. So a lot of people have been asking me uh, some questions about uh, DV. and. Uh, I've been putting the, 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 the answers uh, below the videos, that particular video. But the general comment I, was, I wanted to make because today's, these are, this is the final stretch. And uh, I usually do like a summary of the things which you need to have in order to uh, finish up successfully. So I will just talk briefly. I won't go into details uh, because I've already talked them to in in other videos. So I don't want to duplicate. But um, uh, briefly, you need to check your eligibility first, whether the country you come from qualifies, and after that, check if you have the qualification necessary, like the education and the work experience. I'll also make sure you are 18 years and above to apply by yourself. Uh, below 18 years old, that one, uh, parents can um, include their information, but don't forget to include uh, the photos for each uh, child who is below the age of 18. Uh, you need to have their information together in case you are selected then uh, you don't need to start afresh adding them uh, before you go to do your interview. So do that and remember remember the photos you are using. Don't recycle them. Use the photos, like I said in my uh, earlier video, use the most recent photos. Uh, six months or newer, avoid using the photos you used last year if you tried. Because um, the system will detect, they have a technology which will detect if you are using the photos a second time and you don't want to be rejected or disqualified. Those are the things you need to, to check. And that's why most people get disqualified at the first screening. And oh, there's also one thing somebody asked me, like they uh, filled the application and uh, they get rejected. If for some reasons uh, the system rejects you the first time, and if you don't 
you get a confirmation number it's okay to to do it the second day or the second time because without a confirmation number that one means your application didn't go through so you have to try until the system accepts uh, your application and once it's uh, accepts your application like your confirmation number down and the information you see on the screen like your name your date of birth your email address you used and of course the confirmation number keep it hand next year 2025 in around may uh usually around the first or second week it's going to be the results for all those people who have been selected and that's the same confirmation number you are going to use to check the results if you are selected then you will move to another uh stage and uh, for your information if you are selected you can still be denied a visa it's not automatically if you are selected like you are going to uh, be given a visa you have to follow all the instructions and during the time you'll be going for the visa to fill the ds 260 is when uh, they are going to need more paperwork at the embassy so make sure wherever paperwork they have make sure you have them they might be asking you originals and the copies so don't forget to take the originals to your interview if they ask them for example the birth certificate and uh, educational credentials they are going to ask them if you said uh, you know you completed uh, the 12 years of high school or second school education or you have a work experience they're going to be needing some kind of documentation so as the window is now going down uh, make plans and by the way if you are selected you will be required to go to the embassy with a passport so once you get um, you, you know or if you want to have a passport because the passport is going to be yours if you're going to afford a passport and you get it it's better to apply so that um, when you are selected you find that you have the documents uh, handy and um, another point i wanted to remind you avoid uh, multiple entries because those ones will disqualify you uh, make sure you apply once get that confirmation number and the confirmation number uh, will uh, assure you that uh, you your application has gone through and there's a question they ask you the country of eligibility uh, make sure you put the country where you were born if you are born in kenya and you live in dubai don't say the country of eligibility is dubai just say kenya but the country where you are residing you can say the country you are studying currently if you are out of the uh, republic of kenya for example or you are out of your country that's the way it works and um, yeah so um, get those um, applications uh, done uploaded uh, if you wait until the last minute uh, the last day there's a chance the systems might be overloaded and there might be a problem or internet connectivity uh, you never know so don't wait until the last minute but there you have it you know the deadline is on the 7th if you are a last minute person it's okay but uh, get those applications in and you know you have to be in in order to win it that's all i wanted to share with you guys and thank you for your support uh, the channel is growing i'm seeing new subscribers every day and please continue doing that continue supporting continue sharing until you know uh, we accomplish the mission i wish you uh, good luck for the starting new november and um, yeah i wish you every good luck in uh, whatever you are doing and uh, i hope you win Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.